EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the steel capital of the world, Pittsburgh, PA, at Heinz Field. This was the scene just a few moments ago as the Pittsburgh faithful were fired up by the hometown Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line with the Cincinnati Bengals. First carry for James Conner. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. The Steelers, of course, had all the questions lingering with Le'Veon Bell. Tip of the cap to James Conner. He really has filled in nicely. He prepared himself as if he were going to be the starter right from week one. And I got to see him in preseason. And you saw a little bit of everything. His ability to run inside, also run to the perimeter, catch the ball out of the backfield. And how about his season opener against Cleveland? They didn't win the game. But he played awfully well, 135 yards rushing, and he helped close out a big win at Tampa Bay in week three on Monday Night Football with some nice runs down the stretch. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. On third down, Roethlisberger. And he finds McDonald. And all the way down to the 26. A big play on third there for the Steelers. 45 yards. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who can make people miss, run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody who has that ability, they want them on their team. Roethlisberger will hand to counter. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fit and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Now Roethlisberger to throw on second down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this, and hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't I, seem to I want didn't it. offer mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. And he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Nice gain of eight that time, but it's second and goal. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. So that'll back him up five. Can't afford another delay here as they come up again on second and goal. They run with Connor. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It's a loss of two, now third down. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive 
and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? On third and goal, Roethlisberger. And it's caught. It's Brown. Touchdown, Steelers. Antonio Brown from eight yards out. And the Steelers take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. Boswell good with the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. Boswell on now to kick this one away. On the return, it's Alex Erickson. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The football switching back over here to the Cincinnati Bengals. And this is a team this year that had a promising start. They were 4-1 and one if you think back to the early portion of the season, but then it really all unraveled. They lost seven of the next eight. Of course, injuries did not help them this season. No doubt about that. When you lose your quarterback, Andy Dalton, and your star receiver, A.J. Green, that doesn't make for good offense, let alone overall productivity. But it really unraveled, as you said, the middle portion of the schedule. And when they were losing seven of eight, it was really defense. They ended up letting their defensive coordinator go. They were giving up nearly 500 yards per game. It just all came apart. And that's a team that I identified in preseason as one that could surprise. The surprise was on me. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Javon Hargrave breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Green, 39. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that is incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Let's go. Blue they'll drop the throw. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. Well, that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. Here's Randy Bullock now as he'll go for the field goal. This from 54 yards away. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. The Pittsburgh Steelers, they are in a fight for the AFC North, a fight for their playoff lives. But if they find themselves playing in January, they might look back to that Week 15 win over New England is really the thing that got them over the top. And remember, that stopped a three-game losing streak. And when you talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers fighting for their lives to go to the playoffs, they fought in that game against New England, got off the deck. And they came out swinging and played really, really well. So if they go down, qualify for the playoffs, win the AFC. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Michael Johnson in there to get him for a loss of five. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DN. 
and that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well, and that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest-paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. They'll run it now out of the gun, and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. 11 yards on the pickup, and that's going to lead to a third down. It seemed like the situation was second and a mile to go for a first down, which screams what? Throw the football. You got to pass it in order to try to pick up that kind of yardage. But in this case, they ran a tendency breaker because the tendency is for defenses to be out there and be set up for a pass. So you break tendency and actually run the football. That changes everything because if you're able to find a crease, you often have bigger guys working against smaller guys downfield. They picked up excellent yardage there to bring up a third down. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Ready? On second down, here's Roethlisberger. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Set. From the red zone now, here's Roethlisberger on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Vance McDonald, the tight end, was the target. That'll bring up second down. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Here's Roethlisberger. And it's held in by Rodgers for a Steeler touchdown. Two first quarter touchdown passes now for Ben Roethlisberger. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height, or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown. Boswell on now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically, those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. All right, here we go. On second down, here's Mixon. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. 
Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit them over the top. On third down, he'll drop the throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That makes them now 0 for 2 here in the first quarter on third down conversions. And now they'll look to their defense because they need them to step up so they don't fall further behind here in the early going. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And we'll see what he can do on the return. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now Roethlisberger to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Give him 30 yards there. You know, when I see passes like that, I'm reminded of something you and I talked about yesterday. Big Ben was a wide receiver the first three years of high school, sitting behind the coach's son. And then he finally got that opportunity. I think he's made the most of it. It's always the coach's son, isn't it? <laughs> but you know where it helps him? When he looks downfield, he knows what the receivers are going to do. He actually has wide receivers' eyes when he's throwing the ball. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Here's Connor, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. If you're the coaching staff upstairs, you might want to file that play away. Do you see how fast the safety closed on that one? Coming up in run support, made a big-time tackle. Let's go. Might want to try and check into a pass next time. Yeah, got him for a loss. Really, really great play defensively. From the gun on third down, it's Rafflesberger. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Nick Vigil in there to get him for a loss of three, and it'll be fourth down. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. From the right hash, this from 48. And Boswell's kick is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the right, field on this drive. Hey, Poor that. punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's got to there be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Boom, 
They go play action here on first down. That's complete to John Ross. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Mixon with a first down carry, and he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football, but these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense, and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Throwing right, and that's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Hurry up, here we go. Three. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And his throw is incomplete. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, good defensive position, able to affect the play. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Now let's go! Boom, nine it. Now a first carry for Giovanni Bernard. <laughs> And he'll get about five here, so he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Here we go, here we go. Hurry up, here we go. Blue landing. They'll set up to throw. And it's caught, and he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's such a good route runner, shows it there on third down, very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right Let's spot. Go. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Now back to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. C.J. Uzama, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals are able to draw a bit closer. On for the point after is Randy Bullock. Bullock good on the extra point, And that'll cut the lead to 17-7. out now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. The Steelers offense now, they head back onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. The game. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, 
touchdowns. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. On second down, Roethlisberger. Throw left side is complete to Rodgers. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Here we go. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Four down, four down. Set. Blue 30. Right side. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's taken down inside the 30. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. Like if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Right back to him on first down. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Vontez Burfick, the one to get him down. The offense on third down tonight, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. First down, it's Roethlisberger. James has got it, complete. That throw good for four, it's second down. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football, <laughs> look out everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. To throw here, Roethlisberger. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Geno Atkins breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. Enough takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. So the sack, and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. That is caught inside the five. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play, but what he does is he takes away having to make... Got his man, it's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Three first-half touchdown passes now for Ben Roethlisberger, and the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Well on now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Bengals offense now, they head back onto the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here we go now. Blue landing. They'll start on the ground here with Bernard. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. All right, here we go. 319! On play action, they'll throw. Wide open receiver complete. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. And he's in for six and a Steeler touchdown. This first half has been a nightmare for that offense. Defense just dominating them. And when you're picking up the ball, picking up their mistakes, and taking it the other way and putting it in the end zone, that's a defense's dream. They're having that type of a game. Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong for this offensive unit. Extra point put through by Boswell. And a route is on here in this first half. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This one taken from the seven. <laughs> Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Starts with a handoff to Bernard. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. the play fake he'll look to throw and he finds a man with a crossing round and he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30 and a nice gain of 21 yards there are so many things to watch for when you play defense 
and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Hurry up, here we go. 319. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Open man is Uzama. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. It is indeed. The quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he gets it inside the 10 to the nine. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Now let's go! They'll give it to Mixon. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. That's a gain of seven, and we'll leave them with second and goal coming up. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. On second and goal, one man stands in the backfield, and that's Mixon. Snap as they'll look to throw. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Cody Core, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals are able to cut into this lead. And he just did get those feet in there on the side of the end zone. Well done. Probably the exact size foot necessary because I think if he had another half size, that, that catch doesn't count. And he's able to get it in, and it counts for a touchdown. Now Bullock to add the extra point. Extra point up and good by Bullock, and that will get him one closer. Bullock out now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. And McDonald here over the middle. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Well, they've already allowed three sacks in this first half. Now a holding penalty. So I think drastic measures had to be taken, right? The regular way was not working. He was getting hit almost every snap, it felt like. They had to try and keep him upright. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Got his man complete over the middle. It's McDonald, and he'll get it up here this time to the 21. A gain of six there on first. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Set, 
Now Roethlisberger to throw on second down. Over the middle, complete. That's McDonald. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because <laughs> Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Man open left side is Brown. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Ben to throw again. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Rodgers. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Roethlisberger coming up with a first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. To throw again is Roethlisberger. Now he'll go deep down the middle. It's caught at the ten. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the ten-yard line. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big time completion. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Again, it's Roethlisberger. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. And that is, I think he caught it. He did, but they'll say out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. He was looking for Eli Rogers that time. And that takes us from second to third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Watch it, sir. 180. Move, sir. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Big Ben with his fourth touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. It's just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Boswell good with the extra point and a route is on here in this first half.
Boswell on now to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty as they come up on first and ten. All right, here we go. Boom, and with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we reach halftime here in the Steel City with the Steelers on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, this will be fielded at the 6. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number 3. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun now on third down. And that is incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. They have the lead here. What well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches, what are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the, yeah. we've got, the we've got the got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see what the offense gets done. Now Roethlisberger down around his goal line. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And this one will be taken up. They'll spot it right at the seven. Give him two yards on that play, and that'll lead here to a third down. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback who has to slide and find open space to throw. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Here's Jordan Berry now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone.
Good coverage there. An even 50-yard punt leads to a return of five. And the Bengals will take over in terrific field position. So now the Bengal offensive unit back out onto the field. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, that they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at that time, actually. <laughs> you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the delay of game penalty backs him up. It's now second and seven. Now let's go. Blue lining. Blue lining. They're going to look to throw. And his pass incomplete. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch. But underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. All right, here we go. Green. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Here's Kevin Huber now as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 26. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. <laughs> And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. The Steeler first down on a pickup of 11 yards. That's another nice run, and I have to tell you, some of the coaches that I played for, their philosophies were always different when they see a guy running the ball well. Some of them wanted to immediately go to play action and throw it now because it's wide open. But other coaches said, you know something? Until they stop him, that big boy's going to keep getting the football, and that might be the direction that they're going to go right now. On first and 10, it's Roethlisberger. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Carlos Dunlap in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like he'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Brown. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. And there's a man they call A.B. Always a volume receiver. He gobbles up catches. Holds a number two and number four spots for most receptions in a season in NFL history. And in 2015, 
just seven catches shy of setting the single season mark for most receptions, currently held by Marvin Harrison, a Hall of Famer. And he had 136 catches that year on the heels of 129 the season before. Over the middle, it's caught by Rodgers. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. Roethlisberger now nearing the 300-yard mark with still a corner to play. It's first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. On second down, here's Roethlisberger. He'll fight a man over the middle. It's Washington. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Jesse Bates made the tackle from his safety spot. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Now it's Roethlisberger. And a quick throw here. That's complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and, of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. And the Steelers on third down. They've been tough to stop. Eight for ten so far. Here it's third and two. Connor. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. He's got his tight end. That's James. Touchdown, Steelers. How about Ben Roethlisberger, his fifth touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Steelers offense, they continue to pour it on. Extra point now by Boswell. Extra point put through by Boswell, and the lead will swell by one more. Boswell on now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? so tough because we always talk about it being a team game and you need all 11 working well together but every now and then partner you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things and i think that's what they're looking for right now yeah you talk about going to your playmakers they probably need to do it find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else 
A full start backs him up five, first and 15. After the penalty, it's Mixon. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. He wipes out the penalty yardage with a good run to get it back to second and seven. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Again, it's Mixon. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Cameron Hayward in on the tackle. Back-to-back -back runs. I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. And the Bengals on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and six. He'll drop to throw, and that is incomplete. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. This will be fielded at the 17. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this was just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? Who? You and me, trying to get to the airport. That's the road, true. to be fairly that, clear, that is by the time positive. we have to leave the booth. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's McDonald, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Roethlisberger now. A perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. Now it's counter. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Carlos Dunlap, the defensive end, the one to bring him down. Again, it's counter. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Roethlisberger. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. It'll be a three-yard gain, and it'll be fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. Back now in Pittsburgh. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. All right, here we go. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Pass incomplete. Well, so many times defensive backs get caught playing the man rather than the football, but not in this case. That's an excellent play. Did exactly what you're supposed to do. Attack the football and help break up the pass. And, yep, as a result, knocks it down. Again from the 20 after the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Back to throw now on second and 10. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 
And it's a fumble. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You've probably talked about since training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. It's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Their already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Ross. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. They'll set up a throw. He's going to go for a big play downfield. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And that is incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the former Pitt Panther, was the target. And it's third down. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because, like, like him, it's going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. Now back to throw. And now another one thrown incomplete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he's got some space here. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. And on the ground they go with a running back. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the pickup. And that is going to set up a third and one. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. On third and one, it's Roethlisberger. And he finds McDonald. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Now Roethlisberger. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. 
Only a yard on the completion. It's second and goal. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Hey, hey, that! Black 20! Here's Roethlisberger. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. When you got your backs in the shadow of your goal line, you've got to be physical in that situation because there's not a whole lot of space, not a lot of wild plays that can be run there. It's put up or shut up time. Defensively, nice job just to make sure they didn't complete it on that play. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? To throw again is Roethlisberger. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant it a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And Boswell's kick is good. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. So that one will be accepted. And out now, here come the Bengals. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Here we go now. Green, 39. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Throw left side, complete to Ross. They give him a gain of 37. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Set, three, nine, now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He gets this one to Boyd. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and it's picked up by the Steelers. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. And I don't know that that fumble's going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Geno Atkins, the pro bowler, in there on the stop. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Roethlisberger now off the bootleg. Now Ben hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. 
But call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> and the first play of the drive there is incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. T.J. Watt in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. On third down, Mixon. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. And this defense continues to give them fits. They just can't get really anything going on the ground, can they? I love the theme that you just brought up. This defense has been tough all game long against the run. We just saw another example of it there. Here's Kevin Huber now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he fields it cleanly. It's a net of 40 there. A punt of 48 and a return of eight. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's, what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, broadcaster? Well, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won about, every game as a player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. <laughs> and no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that... You know, team put 70. I actually saw it happen twice. A team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season, I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good before now was dominating and kicking around a team who had been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck, right? Yes, as, the, as the analyst, you got to fill that time. You've got to know what's going on out there and how it all happened. Well, obviously, that begs the question, what game was it? That was Seattle hosting Los Angeles, the Rams. Ah, yeah. Their second meeting of the season, and the Rams turned it around from their first one and blew out the Seahawks. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. And they'll go on the ground. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one. Maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. Here's Jordan Berry now. He's been terrific so far. This is fielded at the 27. That'll wind up being a 50-yard punt, though they do get 10 back on the return. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. They'll run it here with Bernard. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? 
leverage, athleticism. They created some nice space for him. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Open man is Uzama. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That catch good for five. It's third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Now the Bengals on third down. A pretty anemic, a very anemic one for nine thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. and brings up second down. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation in there. The defense won the battle. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he comes back with one complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. We got chips over here. They'll look to throw here on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. They'll drop the throw to mix it on the check down. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Call it a three-yard gain, and that'll make it third and one. Back to throw. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And Bullock will put this one through, and they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They have the big lead here late. They protected their home turf well, didn't they? They certainly did, partner. And just think about how good that feels because every team has a goal when they start the year to win at home. All right, and sometimes you don't win all of them, but they managed to get that done today. Just think about your routine stays the same. Everything's familiar. You feel right going into the game, and they translated that into a win. They did indeed. They protected the home field, and now the final stages. No gain on the play there. Second down. But he was stopped on that play, but he's had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then, the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. Four. 
And they'll go with a ground attack here. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Steelers are winners as we say so long from High.